I'm Andy Parkin, Managing Director of the multi-award winning Speed Screed. I'm here today to talk about self-leveling latex screed. I would say that I don't believe there is a self-leveling latex screed per se. Yes, a self-smoothing, but not self-leveling. Please don't lay the screed and expect it to level itself. However, the term self-leveling latex is used extensively in the industry and I will use it here. Self-leveling latex is a cement-based smoothing compound. Where it differs from other smoothing products is there is a latex additive. Instead of mixing the compound with water, the water is replaced with bottle, uh, a bottle of latex, which is then added to the mix. There is no additional water, just pour the bottle of latex in. When laying vinyl, ceramic tiles, carpet and other floor coverings, Latex floor screed levels out uneven substrates and leaves a smooth surface to bond to. The reason that the additive is latex is to give the screed a degree of flexibility. If there is any slight movement with the substrate, the latex will allow for a small degree of movement. This allows some uh, self-leveling latex screeds products to be bonded to materials such as plywood. Self-leveling latex screed and construction types. When we talk about latex floor screed, we need to consider the different types of screed construction. Uh, there are three types. Bonded is very relevant to self-leveling latex screed and it relies on the bond with the substrate. Latex floor screed would be suitable for this type of construction. Then we have unbonded, is where you have a membrane in between the substrate and the screed. This type of construction is not something that would be suitable for a self-leveling latex screed. Floating construction is where you have the screed sat on insulation, be it acoustic or thermal insulation. This type of construction is not something that would be suitable for a self-leveling latex screed. We need to consider a number of things and a sound substrate is important. When bonding, I think it's important to highlight the process. When looking at the substrate, it needs to be sound. When we say sound, it needs to be solid. If you have crumbling, cracking or other issues, then action needs to be taken before laying the screed. There is no point in laying a latex floor screed onto something that isn't stable because it will only result in the screed cracking and or delaminating. Checks should be made to ensure that the substrate is not contaminated. Contamination can be a variety of things. Oils, grease, dust, anything that may have gone into the pores of the screed, the capillaries of the screed. If there is contamination, it may require some mechanical surface preparation which may be uh, such as grinding, scabbling or shot blasting. If there is paint on the surface, then it will need to be removed before laying the self-leveling latex screed. The surface needs to be cleaned and vacuumed if there is any dust on the surface. Before the latex screed is laid, a primer needs to be applied to the substrate to assist in the bonding of the latex screed and the substrate. Sometimes it can go down without the primer. Always read instructions before laying. Either way, you are going to need some penetration of the surface. It needs to bond. So that might be you may have to grind off the first couple of millimetres of the matrix to get down to something that is bondable. If the substrate is power floated concrete, then the top of the matrix will need to be removed to get uh, to a more open textured concrete that will allow the primer to penetrate. There are certain products that may go down directly onto a power floated surface but again you would have to look at the requirement for each individual product. In general you would be looking at mechanically altering the surface to allow for better adhesion between the screed and the substrate. Self-leveling latex screed thickness. Self-leveling screed thickness varies from product to product. However, as a general guideline, please find the following depths. 
Minimum depths are usually two to three mil. However, there are some products that can go down to feather edge. So feather edge being a mil or, or even less. Maximum depths are around 10 to 15 mil. However, the, with the addition of bulking agents, normally kiln dried uh, sand, some uh, self-leveling latex screed can go up to 30 mil. Self-leveling latex screed is normally used to smooth the surface of concrete and screeds when laying thin vinyl or thin floor coverings. Slight imperfections in, in the substrate will show up in these types of floor coverings. A latex floor screed will smooth out those slight imperfections. I hope this helps you with your self-leveling latex screed questions. If you would like any further information, please get in touch.